Yo, what is going on guys, Peter here. So we have the patch notes for March 31st on Global Grand Cross. Let's go over them and see uh, what everything is coming and everything we're getting. So the first thing right here is the 10 commandments. We finally have our first commandment on Global and that is Galen. Uh, super excited for this guy to drop uh, on Global. He is going to be an issue for the first upcoming month on Global, especially PvP, uh, since Global doesn't have Escanor yet, but I feel like after that this guy is going to fall off uh, pretty hard. I mean, he's still a very viable unit. Right now on Shapey, no, I haven't seen anybody use him because, I mean, he, he, hasn't, he hasn't really take hits from green units, I should say. Uh, so before we do that, let's watch his uh, ultimate attack here, and then we'll talk about him uh, and what he does. There we go, that was Galen of Truth, his ultimate attack. Pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, I really like his ultimate attack. Uh, it's basically what he does in the anime uh, when he's facing Escanor, and Escanor just completely obliterates him. And just how it's gonna happen in the game, once Escanor comes out of the green Escanor, he's absolutely gonna obliterate this Galen uh, because Escanor is literally no match for him. Uh, taking a look right here, so they basically announced here that uh, Galen's unique image, Galen will force an enemy at the start of battle to basically lock on to him so you guys will see right here this little mark uh, that's on this guy's can I zoom in on that no I can't it's on Elioni basically you can't target anybody else uh, besides Galen so automatically at the start of battle Galen will lock on to somebody uh, one of your opponent's heroes and they have to attack Galen so it, it does it. It was an AoE. You can attack everybody, but if it's a single target attack, you have to attack Galen. And Elena right here is forced to attack Galen. Uh, also, let's say for example, he locks on to King. Uh, King can cannot like petrify him or anything like that. So this ability does come in handy depending on who he locks. And here it says uh, can only be targeted Galen. It cannot activate debuff. So you cannot debuff Galen whatsoever if you're locked onto him. So it's a pretty cool, unique ability. Uh, that he has and it does come in handy or it can come in handy depending on who you lock on to okay taking a look at Galen right here Galen uh, Galen of Truth he is a blue type uh, SSR he's a demon he's got a very high attack stat uh, he also has a very high uh, you know CC stat he's got very high uh, what's it called combat class uh, if you do level him up uh, so he is good for that his rank 1 attack skill does 180%, 270%, or 450% whip amplify. Amplify means he gets 30% more attack per each buff he has on him. Uh, that kind of plays into effect of his uh, ultimate that he does. So we'll take a look at that. His other skill is Dismal Scatter Cut. Uh, inflicts 68, 102, or 170%. Also makes the target bleed for two turns, equal to I believe 80% of the damage you dealt. Uh, you inflict bleed damage for two turns. This skill could come in handy doing that extra chip damage uh, to your opponent uh, when you're in the battle. And then his ultimate critical over, uh, he does 420% attack. I'm not sure what his multiplier is. I haven't really checked. I could probably check on Grand Cross database, but 420 at SA1. Uh, he also increases his basic stats, so HP attack and defense by 50% for 3 turns. And that applies going back over here to his first attack skill, which is the Amplify boost uh, that he gets on his first attack skill. So he gets 3 buffs uh, from this, and then, or I think it's 3 or 4 buffs from this, and he applies it to his first attack skill, uh, attack skill. And then that allows him to hit super, super hard going into the battle. He also does have a commandment, uh, basically if a hero uses a rank up skill, uh, he petrifies that hero for two turns, that it does come in handy again. And then right here, like I said, the other uh, unique skill he has, he gets uh, somebody to lock onto him and you can't attack anybody else but Galen. So this hero is it's pretty good. I think Galen is pretty good, especially early on right now in the game. He's going to become very handy in PvP if you pull him. He is Gother's main main counter right now. So if people are running Gother and you face a Galen in PvP, it's going to be a little it's going to be a little problem for you in PvP right now because 
Galen is the only main counter to Gother, and they're releasing both of them on the same banner, which is good. So they're releasing Gother, which is the best unit in the game, and they also have a counterpart to Gother to kind of counter them on PvP, which is Galen. Uh, I like what they're doing here. That's a big W for Global, not to mention there's two heroes on one banner, so they didn't really split these banners up to kind of have... Uh, a separate Gallon banner and a separate Gother banner so you can, guys can like just put all your gems into one place. This is a big W for Global. I'm not gonna lie, this is a huge, huge W for Global. Okay, now let's take a look at Gother here. You guys know that Gother is the best unit of the game, still the best unit of the game on JP Crane Cross. He is a phenomenal unit. Uh, let's take a look at his ultimate attack here. Okay, yeah, that's the boy Gother, <laughs> the best unit of the game. He is a coin shop unit initially on uh, JP. Uh, they made him a banner, which I mean is a W because you can literally spend chips to get this unit, you have to spend coins. Uh, he will be added to the coin shop in about after his banner leaves, and then I believe like one or two weeks after that. So he will be in the coin shop to pick up after his initial banner leaves. So if you don't pull him this time around, you know, summoning for him. Do not worry, you can still pick him up in the coin shop for 5 coins, 5 to 7 coins, uh, so that is a good thing. He is a strength unit, uh, SSR, he is an unknown under race, he's got decent stats, not the highest uh, CC, but he's, he's very good still regardless. Uh, his rank 1 attack is uh, arrow shot, it inflicts 120, 120, and 180. Also, if his rank 2 and 3, he disables enemies attack for 1 or 2 turns. So, any attack card, like, let's say for example, look at Galen right here. If Galen, attack cards are basically uh, cards that have the sword. Those are the attack cards. So, he disables those cards from all the enemy he hits with his arrow shot. So, he's very good. And then, this is why he's the best unit of the game right here. His rank up skill. His uh, rank up skill is so good. He increases skill ranks of any ally, of one ally. So, let's say for example you had a rank 1 in your hand. So this is not close to rank 1. He increases it to rank 2. And then, that's if it is rank 1. Rank 2 increases your whole hand. And rank 3 increases your whole hand. Also providing you 20% attack, defense, and HP stats for 3 turns. So, Gother is one of the best support units in the game, and it's like crazy good. No other card in the game uh, right now has an increase, uh, increased skill rank card besides this Gother. So that's why he is the best unit in the game. Uh, his ultimate inflicts 525 or 600. He has a fate link with King, and also he removes 3 to 5 ultimate gauge from all enemies. He's an AOE ultimate. Uh, he's gonna be super good in PvP. Uh, just some simple fact you can make those pesky ult rush teams. Uh, you ult with Gother, you ult with King. Boom, boom. This, dude, this, this, you guys will see. Uh, if you guys never played or seen any JP videos of why Gother is the best, you guys will see once this card comes out uh, and what he does. Also, he's got a very good unique ability as well. Uh, it's another support passive. Increases all allies attack by 10% at the start of turn or next turn. If the hero doesn't take any damage, uh, limit 5, so up to 50%. So if Gulf doesn't take any damage in a turn, he increases everybody's attack by 10%. Just phenomenal, dude. I don't know what else you can ask from a unit. Uh, super good. Now let's take a look right here. Uh, the patch notes. So yesterday they said, okay, chapter 7, begin chapter 7 after tonight's update. And yesterday they had a thing, uh, player's rank increases 70, and then they cross it out. They said, no. We don't want to give you rank 70. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I mean, uh, I was thinking they would change it with this update right here, the actual patch notes, but I guess they didn't. So uh, we still have to wait for a higher rank. So I know a lot of people actually are at rank 60 so far, which is the cap right now. But I guess they're just delaying the ranks. I don't know why. Uh, that's that shouldn't be delayed, but I guess it's fine. Uh, okay, ending events. Uh, Merlin's banner is ending. Uh, she will be added in the coin shop. In the future, uh, Bond. If you haven't picked up Bond, he's gonna be in the coin shop to pick up. And two uh, bundles, which I mean is pretty cool. Anything else that I miss regarding adding heroes to the platinum shop? Okay. Oh, they addressed the issue. Okay, here we go. First of all, we would like to sincerely apologize for the recent inadequate 
translations and he noticed that caused confusion with what was shown in game. In particular, we would like to talk about Heroes to the Platinum Coin Shop. That being said, uh, Bond will be added during the next maintenance period. Okay. Uh, Platinum Coin Shop, Deanne, Fairy King, and Adventure Bond. Okay, he's going to be added this week. Newly released since Heroes will be added to the Platinum Coin Shop in two weeks intervals. Okay, that's pretty cool. For seven coins or in discount for five. Okay, they didn't really address the issue with Bond though, uh, how his banner was, you know, uh, false advertised, but uh, we, we still have to wait on that, I guess. Content Creator Club, okay, that's not, that's not it. And then right here, 18 minutes of power costume set, what is this? Oh, Gallon has costumes, okay. Uh, April 1st week event schedules, okay. That's just the missions. And I think that's... What is this? Oh, I think it's a sale. That's a sale. It's definitely a sale, yeah. Uh, and I think that's it. I think that's that's, that's it for this week's update. Uh, new story, which is pretty cool. Oh, okay, okay, boys. Um, make sure you guys farm this farm this event. <laughs> farm this event, okay. Here's your chance to get tons of enhancement stones. If this was uh, unlimited, like how it was on JP. Farm at least 20,000, I would say, at least. Because you will need them for gear, okay? Trust me. Farm as much as you can, please. I'm pretty sure it's going to be unlimited farming. Make sure you guys farm unlimited of this. Just leave your game on auto, okay? Trust me. This bond event is super good. Uh, you're going to need these enhancement stones. And I think that's it. I think Truth and Lies pick up. Yeah, they're getting the same banner. And yeah, alright, thank you so much for watching. Do me for a drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright, peace. Uh, Gallon and Gother Banner tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned, I'll have a summoning video. And yeah, alright, later.